I'm Mike Sokol, and welcome to the How To RV Seminars, where we will learn all about RV electrical preparedness. Today's episode is about how to use a clamp on ammeter to determine current flow in a wire. And I have a Fluke 322 in front of me, uh, costs less than $100. And what I'm going to do is turn this on to amperage mode. You can see I have a little spring loaded grabby jaw here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and hook it around a wire that's running a little space heater. Now, even though that space heater is drawing four or five amperes because it's a 600 watt heater, I'm still showing zero amperes of current. And that's because inside of an extension cord, we have multiple wires. So I have a black wire, a white wire, and a green wire. And even though the black wire is probably carrying four or five amperes of current, the white wire is also carrying an equal but opposite four or five amperes of current. And that adds together to, to produce the zero reading. So let me show you. If I go and hook around only the black wire, now I'm reading about 4.2 amperes. It's exactly what we expect. And if I hook only around the white wire, I'm reading about the same 4.2 amperes of current. If I clamp around the green wire, I should have next to nothing. And there it is showing as 0 0.01, and that's just within calibration of the instrument. So again, if you're clamped around the entire extension cord, it will null out to zero. If you clamp around the hot wire, it will show you the true current of the system, or around the white wire will show you the true current in the system. Thanks for watching the How To RV videos. Please subscribe to this channel for more information on RV electrical preparedness. I'm Mike Sokol. See you next time.